Hello friends, now I am going to teach about ASP.NET web street layout using CSS. First I am going to create a, open the Visual Studio Shop. So I am just uh, clicking a start page. In start page, all programs. In all programs, I have a Visual Studio 2010. Opening the Visual Studio 2010. Visual Studio 2010. And then opening a new website. And opening new site, I'm just selecting Visual C Shop with the Hassel again and selecting as an empty website. If you select ASP.NET website, there is a default website, master page, and default. So I'm just selecting an empty website and the location where it has to be saved as website. So just I'm um, selecting a D colon in website folder and renaming the website, renaming as Smarty. As I'm now going to create a smart website, adding OK, and then and in smart website, just right click and add a new item. And then, first, I'm selecting a master page, you can rename as master page or anything as you need. I'm just leaving the master, master page, adding. Now for page, uh, it will open. It is showing the design view, and it, I'm selecting a source view. And after s adding a master page, uh, you have to add a default page also. Add new item, selecting a web form, the default page. Uh, um, selecting the default page, you have to connect with the master page so selecting master page which master page it will ask you have to give one master page that is i have created the master page uh, okay after connecting the default page with master page close this one simply and after creating this you can have to give a title as i am giving smarty Save it and if you run means you can see this. Running and the debug mode, okay. Yeah, there, there is no content as I not mentioned. So just the title itself is smarty. So just close it. Just I'm now going to create a div tag and in that uh, calling the CSS classes. Just first creating the div tag and giving the name class uh, CSS class as first giving header. In header, you can give a style here itself or below the title tag or you can give a separate. Element. Just add a new folder called CSS and in CSS folder you can add a new item as a style sheet is available in this uh, .NET and you can rename it as anything or leave it as a style sheet just I am uh, renaming as master add this one In the master CSS, just to give a margin. If not, means that there is a browser default uh, CSS. So just I'm giving margin, margin as zero. Save it. And after creating the master, you have to link it with these pages. Just I'm dragging the master CSS below the title tag. It's showing that link has for CSS master. After creating that, uh, the header tag is not there. So just I'm creating the header. If you have to create the class means just put the dot or if you are calling the ID, you can give the hash. So just I'm creating the class. So just I'm going to call as a class by creating dot and naming the header tag in header tag what should i get is uh, first creating the header tag as a background image so just i'm 
going to go add a new folder image in image for understanding purpose you can create CSS and images uh, for separate folders if not miss you can add in this smart website itself just I'm adding a, a new image new image no already existing image so just clicking add existing items and adding system so just to click all files it will show images also I have images in C drive in C drive images just adding the A image after calling the A image just I'm going to create a CSS as background background image as URL it is showing URL to image so just creating URL dot dot backslash images images and the file name which is image name jpg that's it and just to give us a width should be a hundred percent and the height should be a hundred pixel after creating this one you just give and see there is a I got in and simply run this that is coming after running yeah the header tag is header background which I have given its a claim and after creating the header tag you can uh, give the header tag inside the logo or creating the menus just I'm going to create a div tag inside the header tag and header tag I'm just giving mm, text has a smart e, which is uh, you can give a logo or anything just I'm calling one more class name as header logo header logo before creating the header logo you have to center as a it should be look as a center so I'm just creating one more div and it should cut and finish it before the header tag div so I have created this so just move this one for understanding and the, it should give creating the class as a header div header div so just I'm going to copy this uh, header div and calling in master CSS just if you are classing class header div tag mm, the width should be a thousand pixel and margin should be auto uh, let's check after header tag in header and header logo yeah. I'm creating the header logo class dot header logo the header logo should be just a smart font just giving the font font size font size should be 75 pixel and the font uh, font family font family has I'm giving add word and script ITC and uh, just a simply for looking purpose looking good as a so just I'm calling the text shadow as one pixel two pixel and three pixel and the color background color should be a yeah, yeah, yeah. okay then it should be float in left just I'm going to call as a float left okay after creating this uh, just run this one if you run this it will appear as a uh, 
have smarty I got this one and if you want to create menus in right side just create menu in right side in calling the div has a div and name it the, the class as a header menu header menu and in header menu we have to create a ul and a ul another list creating the list items in list items there is an anchor tag for linking to another pages anchor tag href equal to yeah first to create your home and simply i'm going to copy this and pasting one two and three and four home about products services and then contact just save this one if you go and run this you have to create the class header menu just copying the header menu and creating the class in CSS file just dot and header menu it should be float in right side that's it okay then I'm calling the header menu header menu UL should be a margin zero pixel and padding also a yeah? zero pixel after that I'm just calling a header menu UL in your normal list there is a list it should be has a, a display has a inline block and width uh, has giving 100 pixel 100 pixel and uh, in creating a header tag header menu ul under another list there is a list and as a anchor tag in anchor tag you must give as a font family Calibre and font size should be a 14 pixel and text to decoration should be none and color setting the color back text to color as well black and it should be as a display block After going and running this project, we will get the menus as home menu product services contact for getting looking good. So just I'm reducing the width of uh, list, uh, giving 50 pixel. Yeah, home about product services for better arrangement you can make is and we will see the next tutorial has uh, how to add uh, uh, footer and uh, content pages hope you enjoyed that's it for today have a good day